guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do a skincare routine. So it's at the very end of my day. I've had my makeup on for 12 hours. 12 hours and I've not touched it up so I actually think it looks okay. If you're wondering what routine I followed for my skin, that was the last video I just posted so I'll link it down below. But I get asked this question all the time. I'm usually super lucky with my skin. For reference, my skin type is combination. I can get dry in areas, I can get a little bit oilier in areas but I think I've got pretty normal combination skin and I love skincare so much. So I have a really extensive routine. There are some things that you definitely do not need, but these are all things that I think I use that really help with my skincare. They really help with my skin looking clear and it's all really good stuff for making sure I can get my makeup off as well. So I'm just gonna get into it. First thing I'm gonna do, tie my hair out my face. And if you wanna go one step further, you can use one of these fancy little gadgets. So I just got given this as a press thing. So I've not actually used this one yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to tuck this little guy behind. This is quite cute, I've got makeup on it already. And then the next thing I'm going to do, which is my favourite part of the day. Oh. Oh. Lashes are off. What I'm going to do is this is my nighttime routine and then I will let you know what products I use during the day. But my daytime routine is a lot less than my evening routine. My evening routine is when I use all my serums and my masks and things like that. First thing we're going to do is take our makeup off. This is going to get really messy. I know a lot of people do these videos really cute and in the bathroom and things like that. My bathroom's a mess right now so it's not happening. First thing I'm going to do is remove my makeup and I have been using this for ages. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical cleansing oil. This launched around about the time of Coachella last year I believe and I've been using this ever since. This is like my fourth bottle. I use it every day and I wear a lot of makeup so I go through more than the average person I would say. But I'm going to take my rings off and we're going to cleanse our face. So I'm going to take one, two, three pumps of this oil and what you do is you just rub it in your hands and you rub it on your face. And you just use this oil in circular motions for about a minute. Just rub everywhere. I just like doing circular motions right through my eyebrows, right over the eye. Using something like this on your head is great for keeping your hair out your face if you're doing this and you're not in the shower or the bath or anything. And I make sure I get right up to my ears, all my hairline, and then down my neck because I use foundation down my neck. And this is really good. You can work it into your lashes if you're wearing mascara. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the sink, use some warm water to emulsify the oil. It turns it into a bit of a milk. It just makes sure that you're getting all your makeup off and then I'm going to wash it off and I'll be right back. Clean. So I just used the warm water to emulsify the oil and then I used a face cloth just to make sure that I got it all off my skin and then I pat my skin dry with a towel. Now I still have some makeup on around my eyes because it doesn't get it all off. So... If you are to use this oil and you you can get all your eye makeup off, but I don't like to do that. I really love this product. This is the By Phase Expert Makeup Remover by YSL. This is the Top Secrets Skincare Range. So it's one of the ones you give it a shake, and then I just like to put it on a couple of cotton pads, cutting rounds. And I think that this stuff is amazing for getting eyelash glue off because it's a little bit oily. So I just sit that on my eye give it a little wiggle round. It doesn't hurt your eyes at all. I always get nervous with this kind of stuff in case it's gonna really make my eyes burn, but it just gets it all off. I know my eyes look a little bit red right now, but that always happens to me when I wash my face. I put my thumb underneath my eyelashes and the cotton pad on top, and just a really gentle tug, and I've got no eyelash glue in my lashes because that is my pet peeve, the worst. So I'm gonna do the same thing the other side. I do give it a little bit of a rub, to be honest. The oil really loosens off the glue, so you're not pulling any of your eyelashes off. And I wear lashes every single day, pretty much, unless I'm wearing no makeup. So getting all the eyelash glue off without ripping my own eyelashes out is really important. Oh, looks great, honestly. It's so fresh, and it takes two seconds, and you can see all that makeup. And then I just take the other one, just around the perimeter of my face and, and my hairline, and make sure it's all out. And my ears, and down my neck. That is us completely makeup free. If I get a clean pad, run it over my face, nothing on it. 
So clean faced. Mm. Now I'm going to show you one of my favourite masks and this is a really sneaky technique that I was taught by Tata Harper. Kind of naughty, I don't use both Tata Harper products to do this but I do really like this method. So I've got completely clean skin. If I was masking, this is what I would do. So this right here is the Lancer The Method Polish. This is such a good exfoliator. The only other exfoliator that I like as much as this is the Kiehl's one, which I've ran out of, but I'll still tag it down below. This is not cheap, not much of my skincare is, but I really do believe that with skincare, you get what you pay for. That's one thing I've always, I've always spent money on skincare, even from when I was super young. I saved up and I bought like one nice piece a month and I noticed the difference in my skin hugely. So we're gonna use the Lancer or polish this retails at 60 quid oh, but I absolutely love it and you don't need much of it this is a huge tube 120 grams but you do not need much of it about this much for your whole face and it's just a super scrubby scrub and it heats up slightly as well so I'm gonna put that on dry skin and I'm just scrubbing working it into my skin and your skin will go a wee bit red if you're like me just because of the friction nothing to worry about and I've been doing this little routine maybe like once a week for a few months and I just think the finish, like the texture of my skin is so much better than it used to be. Makeup just goes on so flawlessly the day after I do this. I just absolutely love it. So scrub that in. I always make sure I do right in between my eyebrows because that's where I get blocked up skin. Sides of my nose. And don't neglect your cheeks or your jawline because that's the bits that kind of get missed. See, when you're putting makeup on and your skincare and stuff, you always get makeup here, but sometimes you forget to treat your jawline. And that's when I can get really bad spots. I've actually got one, the day that I plan on filming this, I get one spot right on my jawline, but we're ignoring that today. Once you've got your scrub on, you're gonna leave that. And on top, I'm gonna put the Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask. This mask has got so many amazing acids and just ingredients in it that are so good for your skin. It does exactly what it says in the tin, it's resurfacing your skin. So it basically speeds up your cell turnover. So once you've done your scrub, you've got all your dead skin off. I like to put this straight on top of the scrub. And Tata Harper, she obviously did it with her own product. This is like a jelly type product. And I've put a thin layer of this all over and it goes super shiny looking and you can feel it working a little bit, you can feel a little tingle, it's nothing, nothing serious, it doesn't like burn your skin. A layer of that all over the skin and then what I do is I leave it for 10 minutes. So I will just, I don't know, take the dog outside, make a drink, just sit for 10 minutes. <laughs> so I'll sit here for 10 minutes and just let that work, let it resurface my skin, get all that dead skin off. 10 minute countdown and I'll be back and then we'll take this off. Five, four, three, two, one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and use some warm water, get this moving a little bit and then use a face cloth just to take it off and I'll be right back. Okay, my skin is feeling so super fresh. So what I notice whenever I do that little trick, the exfoliator and then the kind of acid face mask on top, is all the areas that I thought were dry, like around my blemishes up here, are gone, like all the dry bits are totally gone. They're exfoliated off and they're kind of burned off with the acids. Don't be scared by that. So my skin just feels super, super fresh. I've got a little bit of scarring down here that's going away. I've got a couple of old blemishes up here that are going away and then one fresh bud He's not ready. So one big thing that I've learned is not to pick your skin. It's so difficult. It's so, so difficult. But do not pick. Treat. Go and get extractions professionally, but do not pick your own face. Oh my God. That is the only reason I've got scarring on my face. There's a couple of spots around here that I just left and they're gone with no scar. So just don't do it. Before I get into the rest of my routine, I'm gonna just quickly tell you about two other face masks I really like. First being the kind of newish Touch up Violet C Radiance Mask. This is another mask that's got vitamin C and brightening blue beauty berry. Mm. So you just put this on clean skin for 15 minutes and it's another type of mask that resurfaces your skin. So it's got a little bit of kind of acids in it. I am not a skincare guru whatsoever. I just know when to use things, how often to use things, what things will work for my skin. So these masks, like that one I just did there with those two products and this I would only use about once a week. That is how often, that's the extent. The rest of my routine, I use every single day. 
So that mask is absolutely gorgeous. It's the really famous one that is purple on the skin, but I used this and took it off and I really noticed a big difference in the radiance of my skin. It just looked super glowy and my foundation went on like a dream the next day. So nice. And then another mask I've actually got from Tatcha as well is the Luminous Deep Hydration Lifting Mask. This is a sheet mask and oh my God, it is stunning. I love using these once a week if I've got like an event on or something, I'll do it the night before. If I'm flying, I've got one in my bag to do tomorrow when me and Jack fly to New York. I just absolutely love these. They feel super luxurious. Stick it on, 15 minutes, take it off, rub it in, and it's just, it's beautiful. It's a really like bougie treat for the skin. The next part of my routine I do every single night. First thing is an essence. So this is the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. This is gorgeous. An essence is super important in your skincare routine. All you need is two little shakes and I pat that in. And essences just really help the rest of your skincare go super deep into your skin and really work. I have noticed a big difference. I use an essence every single day. I really love that one. And then one that I'm running out of that I know is quite difficult, difficult to get. It was out of stock for a long time. This is the Kiehl's Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence. So both of these, this is super deceiving. I've been using this for over a month. I don't know why they come in such big bottles because you do not need much of this stuff. You do not. And this is something I would use day and night. Next product I have, I'm half done. I got given this at an event to launch this product. This is the Tata Harper Resurfacing Serum. I use this every single night, not during the day. I don't use it twice a day. I like to just use it at night time and I usually just take a pump. I actually do two pumps, I'm not gonna lie. I do two pumps, rub it in my hands and I just put that all over. This smells like a lush bath bomb on your face, but Tata Harper skincare is so natural. It's all made on Tata Harper's farm in Vermont. Every single thing that you buy from Tata Harper has come from her farm. She gets all the ingredients imported and it's all bottled on her farm. And she's a big believer in not having fillers in her product. So some, some places you might get a product that's got one active ingredient and then the rest of it's all filled up with crap. This has like 27 active ingredients and they all work for your skin and they're all good for your skin. I'm actually really obsessed with Tata Harper skincare right now. I know that on Cult Beauty, they have the best little packages that you can kind of try out stuff. So you maybe get like four smaller versions of the product for a cheaper price. So if you are wanting to go into the more high-end skincare, definitely try that stuff out because it is fantastic, so good. So once that's on, my next step is my moisturiser and my oil. So the moisturiser that I've been using, and this is really deceiving as well because I've been using this a lot. This is the Omorovitsa. You guys know I love the Omorovitsa Queen of Hungry Mist. Love this so much. Love it on flights. Love it day to day. Doing it before I put my makeup on, doing it after doing it for top ups, love this. This is the Illuminating Moisturiser and I've been doing this for over a month and I really think it works. So what I do is I mix this with my oil. I've used these for like well over a year. In the morning, I use my Daily Reviving Concentrate and at night, I use my Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Both are oils by Kiehl's. I love this stuff. I love mixing this with foundation. I use it every single morning. It makes my skin look amazing. I always think, see if my skin's ever acting up, I might scale back my routine a little bit, but I will never not use these. I love using oils on my skin. And then at night time, I mix it with my Midnight Recovery, which I really do think is amazing as well. I never wake up with dry skin, ever. I've never woke up with dry skin, unless I forget to do my routine. These are my oils, so it's night time right now. So I'm gonna take one pump of the moisturizer, Four drops, one, two, three, four. I might get some of you guys disagreeing with me, but this is what Tata Harper said. I mix my oil and my moisturizer together on my hands and then push that in. Oh, and that's delightful, I tell you. Okay, one little bougie spray of my Queen of Hungry Mist. Cult Beauty do the cutest little version of this that you guys just need to try. Look at this. It's like money. So nice. So I'm gonna spray my face. Eye cream, uh, this is the only eye cream that I use. It is the Kiehl's Super Multi Corrective Eye Opening Serum. You can use this right across your eyelid and it makes a difference. So I'm gonna be 25 next week. 
and I can tell a difference when I'm doing my eyeliner from when I was like 18. This guy, I pat it in and go over my eye and then just rub it gently over my brow, over my lid, just like so. I honestly know what's the difference with that. It's the tiny little nifty eye cream. I just think you can't go wrong with it. And it's the only eye cream. Other eye creams like hydrate my eye area. I do like avocado, creamy avocado by Kiehl's as well. But this one is the bomb. I love it. The last part of my skincare routine was something that I kind of forgot about, but I was having trouble with this area up here. I was getting breakout after breakout. Nothing would clear it up. And then I remembered about my Kate Somerville Eradicate. This is one of those acne treatments, but all you do is you get a wee cotton bud, a Q-tip, if you will. You dip it in till you reach the pink stuff. I don't know what it is. I think it's sulfur. Bloody is sulfur, isn't it? And then on your breakout, you just dot it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, see if the skin's burst in any way, it will sting for a second. Ta-da! It's pack cream. Honestly, if you've got any bumps or sore spots, put this on at night, you will wake up in the next day and the spot will either be gone or it won't be as like angry and inflamed. So I just do this every night until the spot is flat and then I'll leave it to heal and then it's gone. So you guys, that is my entire skincare routine. As always, I will link everything that I used down below. If you have any skincare tips or techniques or products that you've found that you absolutely love that you think that we should know about, please do start a conversation in the comment section. I absolutely love to hear your guys' opinions and recommendations. I have found tons of great products through you guys. You guys are just like me, your makeup enthusiasts, beauty enthusiasts, whatever. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh my God, my head is so big. Bloody hell. Ow. So I just used the, oh my God, these lights are so bright. <laughs> this may, oh, <laughs> got such a big baby face when I'm like this. Ah, uh, uh, That, oh, I've got flipping exfoliator in the back of my hand. <laughs> the blemish or go and get extraction. It, blah, 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 blah.